Our government banned 1,500 models of assault-style weapons, including the Ruger Mini-14 used at Polytechnic and the AR-15. We also expanded background checks to keep firearms out of the wrong hands. We did it because it was what responsible leadership required us to do. Last summer, during the campaign, some politicians said they would make assault-style weapons legal again. Not only did we stand up to them, but we promised to go even further to protect our communities. And so today, we're moving forward. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. Further part of this new legislation, we're also fighting gun smuggling and trafficking by increasing maximum criminal penalties and providing more tools for law enforcement to investigate firearm crimes. And we'll require the permanent alteration of long gun magazines so they can never hold more than five rounds. These are actions that doctors, experts, and chiefs of police have been calling for for years, and we're acting on their advice. I also want to thank the advocates, many of whom are here today, for your tireless efforts.